Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's been quite some time since I've done a sit down talking video. Today's video is going to be a fall haul where I'm going to show you some clothes, makeup, and accessories that I picked up for this fall season. I hope you guys enjoy, stay tuned. Give this video a thumbs up, comment down below if you prefer this type of videos, and let's do it. The first one I picked up is this BHA Blackhead Power Liquid by COSRX. I saw a tutorial on how to get rid of those black spots that appear on your nose. They're not actually blackheads, rather they're oil filaments. And the person who made the tutorial used this product, so I got it to try that out. And I did try it yesterday and it works. So if you want me to do like a, a video just doing that, I can do that for you guys. Then I got this Hamish Artless Glow Base. The name has rubbed off because I put this in my makeup bag and then somehow the product squirted from this end. So it leaked all over my makeup bag, which isn't the best packaging, but this thing has SPF 50 and it also acts as like a glowy base underneath your makeup. I'm wearing it today. So it's like a multi-purpose thing, which I would highly suggest that you guys try. I also got this snail repair eye cream from Mizon. I've been using this for a few weeks and actually I don't notice any difference, but it's still good to take care of your and rise. So yeah, here it is. Here's another. I wanted to try a cushion foundation. Not exactly foundation, like a BB cream. So I got the Moonshot Lisa cushion. It looks like this. Powder puff. And then this is the darkest shade that they have because cushions don't usually come in a variety of shades. But I'm also wearing it today, so I think it fits well. It's not too light, and actually I think it oxidizes a little bit. So at first I apply it and it's a tad bit too light, and then as the day goes on, it matches to my skin color, which is amazing. For a cushion foundation, this is a very matte one, I would say so, because at the end of the day, it doesn't make you look like there's so much oil on your face. You look like you're just, I don't know how to describe it, but yeah, it doesn't make you look like that. So this is amazing. Oh, let me swatch it for you guys, just so you'd see the darkest color. wasting product. Right there. That's the darkest color. And then you blend it in. See? It actually looks super super good. The next product that I keep hearing good things about are the 3CE Velvet Lip Tint. I'm also wearing it right now as my lip color. It's just way easier to show you guys how it looks like when I'm actually wearing it on my face. I can also swatch it for you. Oh, it's so beautiful. Actually, it feels really really good on the skin so I would highly 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 recommend these things I'm usually not a big fan of these kinds of things because they dry out your lips but the technique is you put a like a Laneige sleeping lip sleeping mask on top underneath and then you put it on and then that solves the problem two of their multipot these things you can use everywhere, so today I'm wearing Morning Skinny. This very, very orangey one right here. Like 
I'm wearing it on my eyelid and I'm wearing it on my cheek for that very very flush, very very natural it doesn't look natural but that very flush, very drunk looking look yeah, that's in the shade Morning Skinny the other one I got is in the shade Hollyhock It's a peachy pink, which I like. This looks very, very natural, while the other one looks very, very intense. So it depends on the day. If I'm filming, I like to use the more intense one because it shows up more in the camera. And it's this like tan razor from Urzu. It's oversized. It has shoulder pads. I might do a cutaway or another one where I'm trying this on. I pre-ordered this thing to match with those Conrad pants that they have. I'm just waiting for those to arrive, but I was thinking I want to do the haul, so I'm just going to put it in this haul. Maybe just show you the pants later on if I'm ever going to do another haul. Yeah. That's that one. And then... I was looking for the perfect pair of faux leather pants. I used to have those Dario leggings from Maritzia, but I didn't like those because whenever I moved, those leggings would like go down my bum. So I didn't like the fit of those. I think those leggings are just not for me. I can't find them in my apartment, so maybe it's in my parents' house because they're summer stuff. So I got these pants. They were the Hasek pants from Maritzia. I'm gonna do a try on for this one. So yeah, I really like these because they go high up and they're pretty cropped. I'm only 5'4 and they look pretty good, so which is good. And they look so good with boots. You look so widget. It's amazing. I love these pants. Mm -hmm. Okay. Those are those pants. And then another thing I got for this all season are these boots. These are leather boots from N Thread. They're a brand from the Bay. I like these boots because they just make every outfit look very, very fashionable. If you wear this with mom jeans or skinny jeans, because they don't fit too close to your ankle and they're wide it just gives the most fashionable look ever let me try it on for you guys see they look like super fashionable i don't know how to describe it but interesting they make outfits look 10,000 times better. Yes. They're amazing. What I got was these red dress pants. I might insert a picture here for reference on how I wore it. But the main purpose of getting these dress pants were got it in a size zero but I should have gotten in a double zero because this is still pretty loose but the good thing about getting this in a zero is that I can tuck in chunky knits underneath and it looks fine I don't remember what it's called but it's very thick and warm and comfortable it's not itchy at all it's pretty soft so as you can tell I love wearing white and this is one of those things that I like buying and keeping in my closet for a long, long time. I have this rule in my closet where I don't buy multiples of everything, so if I already have a black cardigan, I'm never going to buy another black cardigan. I'm always going to buy something in a different color, so now I have a white one. Now I'm just in search for a tan one and a gray one item that I got from Aritzia is this top, silky top. 
I love wearing silky tops whenever I go out in the winter time, so I just wear it. I just wear this and then wear like a leather jacket or the cardigan at the, on top and then wear so much accessories that it elevates my outfit because sometimes, you know, when you want to go out to the club and you want to look sexy but not too sexy, then the last few bits that I got for this haul from Uniqlo is from Uniqlo. So I just got these cute tech stuff. I also got those socks, cute tech socks, just for this coming winter because it's starting to get cold here in Canada and it's so easy to wear this underneath. Like this one, I can wear underneath this, this sweater and it will make it extra warm. So that's just it. That's it for this haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Tell me if you like sit down videos more, if you love seeing my face on the screen. Hit like, comment, and subscribe. This is Emily signing out.